In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to play triplets in one hand and eight notes in the other at the same time. Hi, my name is Ilse Lozoya. As a piano teacher and as a pianist, I remember that when I was at the beginning of my piano practice, I used to struggle a lot. And I can see that nowadays as a teacher with my students, to, it's very common to struggle playing triplets in one hand and eight notes in the other. Why? Because we need to divide in our mind, we need to divide the beat in three and in two at the same time and that could be a little bit confusing to play eight notes and triplets one hand or the opposite this can be tricky this can be confusing and sometimes if we found a piece where we have to practice this combination the rhythmical combination we are just simply not capable to do this i remember when i was a piano student i wanted to play a very beautiful piece which the main rhythmical figure was this combination and I was just incapable to do that. Someday, my teacher gave me this exercise that I have to understand how to divide this and practice this in one scale. And after that, I really, really found my piano practice of these rhythmical figures absolutely different. It was a game changer and in the future I could be able, well, I was able uh, to play this beautiful piece that I really love. So I really found this, uh, this advice really helpful. The point is that how can we understand how to divide this? I cannot divide two into three. Of course, you can do the math and yes, I can divide this, but it is kind of difficult, right? In a common practice, daily practice, understand how to divide do two into three, it is difficult. But if we think in three, we can divide three into two, right? You can say three into two. Well, if I divide this, it's going to be one, uh, one and a half bit. But what happened if I do this? If I, instead of playing three eight notes, I think this as three sixteenth notes, then I'm going to have six notes. And that, in that moment, it's pretty easy to just divide this rhythmical figure into two. Because if I have six notes, if I count one and two and three and, it doesn't matter. I am playing this, but I am counting in my mind like one and two and three and. And then I divide like this. So the first eight note is gonna be played right here at the beginning of the triplet. And the second one is going to be at the, at the half of the second note. So it's going to be one and two and three and. So when I play one and one and two and three and one and two and three and, I'm going to play together one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. And really makes this absolutely uh, more easier. Easier. How can I practice this? Making sure that I am not changing the beat, that I begin a certain speed, then I move it, and when I have to divide, when I get to the second, I am just playing slower. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set the metronome in 70 beats per minute, one, two and three and one two and three so the metronome is counting each one and two and three and one and two and three and and remember that right here it's going to play at the half of the second note from the triplet so it's going to be one and two and three one and two and three one two and three one two and three. One, two, and three. I can
can play this and continue or just repeat this notes many times. Then I can do the opposite, right? One, two, and three. 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 Practice this many times. Then, if you increase the speed, let's say that you get to, to 100 or 120 or 90. Well, what I can do then, I change the metronome and instead of uh, setting the metronome and counting each note of the triplet, it's going to count only at the beginning of the whole triplet. It could be like 40 beats per minute or something like that. That is really going to help you to count and understand this. But always at the beginning, count every note each note of the triplet. So that's the key. If you found this video useful, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to click the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about how to be a better pianist and music student.